according to FDA guidance, process validation, general principle and practices from 2011, process validation involves three stages over the life cycle of the product and process. Process thinking, process qualification and continued process verification. In the process design phase, the goal is to build knowledge and understanding obtained during the development phase and scale-up activities and establish a strategy for process control. The commercial manufacturing process is defined based on knowledge gained through development and scale-up activities. Critical process parameters, CPPs, are identified. The process is established to define acceptable limits for the critical process parameters in order to meet the critical quality attributes, CQAs, of the products. In the process qualification phase, the process design information from the previous stage is evaluated to determine if the process is capable of reproducing the commercial manufacturing quality. In this stage, you will confirm if the process consistently yields a product meeting the specifications when the process is operated within the normal operating range or design space. This stage has two elements. Number one, design of the facility and qualification of the equipment and utilities. And number two, process performance qualification, PPQ. The objective of the first element, design of the facility and qualification of the equipment and utilities, is to ensure that facilities have been designed properly and that commissioning is done before proceeding with the process performance qualification, PPQ. The second element is the process performance qualification. A number of defined PPQ batches will be manufactured to conform the process design and demonstrate that the commercial manufacturing process performs as expected. This stage combines the qualified facility, utilities, equipment and the trade personnel with the commercial manufacturing process, control procedures and components to produce commercial batches. The purpose of high sampling practice is to ensure that validation batches are meeting the acceptance criteria ensure the homogeneity of the batch, ensure the reproducibility of consecutive batches and demonstrate the equivalence of equipment performance. If the PPQ is successful, it will confirm the process design is correct and demonstrate that the commercial manufacturing process performs as expected. Once stages one and two are completed, the process is validated and approved by the authorities. Now, in the continued process verification stage, routine production provides ongoing assurance that the process remains in a state of control on a batch-to-batch -batch basis through the process control strategy. In practice, an ongoing program to collect and analyze product and process data that relate to product quality is established and followed. The data about quality of incoming materials or components in process material and finished products is collected, trended and statistically evaluated. The performance of the process identifies potential issues and determines whether action must be taken to correct and prevent problems. The CAPA system and change control management will also provide enough data to be evaluated during the product quality review to ensure that the process remains validated. Thank you for attending this course. I hope you find it useful and that you have learned what you expected. See you in other courses at SciLife Academy to continue your learning journey.